Hi, this is Christopher Lewis, and welcome to Dating Intelligence, the podcast where we give relationship advice from dating to marriage and everything else in between, and always with the goal of helping you to continuously be the best you at all times. So if you're looking for real life and honest information to help you navigate your relationships, we've got you covered. We've got you covered. All right, guys. Hello, hello. We got a new episode for you today, and this one's going to be kind of fun for us, Jamie, because you know why? It's just us. There's no one else in this room except for no us. No pressure. No pressure. We can do whatever the fuck we want to do. I know. I showed up. I'm like, do you have a topic for us? <laughs> I was just like, like uh, no. no. So by the way, guys, uh, we're at the incredible Sticky Paw Studio back in Las Vegas. And um, today we are just going to share, like Jamie said, I have no episode for us today. I think we're just going to wing this one and see how it works out. And would love to get your feedback on what you guys think. So because we have a lot to talk about, as always. And um, first of all, Jamie, I want to see how you are doing. I know once again, you are always on the road traveling, going somewhere. So it's great to have you sitting next to me right now. Um, I'm a little tired. Chad is like, did you edit this photo? I'm like, what are you trying to say? Do I look like shit today? <laughs> <laughs> no, you look amazing as always. So oh, thank you. Well, guys, Jamie, actually, you know, this, so we're going to talk about Super Bowl weekend. It was a fantastic weekend. Jamie actually mm-hmm. flew into LA and stayed with me. I picked her up from the airport and it was a whirlwind from that point on. Um, not only was it a whirlwind, but just Picking her up the airport was a whirlwind in itself. This bitch comes rolling up with about three <laughs> gigantic bags. I mean, I'm talking the extra, extra super size bags that are filled up to the brim. And I felt like I need to go back to the gym and start working out after that, honestly. One, there was only one bag that was really heavy. Because they all felt heavy to me, honey. Well, <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, do you have room in your car for my stuff? With all my tennis gear in the back, I had to find ways to put it all in, which was fine though. But yeah. I mean, they were heavy as shit though. Those are the biggest bags I've ever seen in my entire Well, I life. have a process. So usually like I'll have my rifle bag, I have mm-hmm. my clothes bag. Um, so when people see me like coming through the airport, I feel like they're always impressed. Like, fuck, how is she doing it? And you carry it all yourself, but, right? Yeah, wow. I, I get it all myself. I don't get the carts. I I don't have any, like if I have a driver, even then I'm like, no, 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 I got it. Okay. So yeah, I have a little process. I get them out and and I'm good to go. But I came from the cold, so I had big jackets, scarves, um, and then I arrived to LA and it's, they have like a heat warning. It's 85, 90 degrees, which I am not complaining at all because I love (laughs) the heat. Yeah. I mean, this weekend was, it was insane. We, uh, the weather, first of all, thank God it was warm because we, every night that we went out, our outfits were not geared for jackets and cold weather right, kind of right. stuff, you know? We wanted to look good, so we had to dress up. Which is better for me, because mm-hmm. I don't like wearing, like, heavy coats. I had a heavy coat at the Forbes party, but I was... I don't remember you in a heavy coat. You had it yeah. in the car, I think, though, didn't you? No, I, I brought it, because remember, I was wearing my white dress. Oh, that's right. So... Yeah. Here it Initially. is. Yeah. I think you're holding it right here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There, there it is. is. House yeah. of Guys, Harlow. If you watch, Thanks, Revolve. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch the um, uh, the YouTube video right now, uh, we're showing a, a photo of us. Uh, Jamie does have her jacket, which I literally forgot you had that in your hand the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Well, I carried it um, because... Initially, the first night I was supposed to wear white to our first party. Mm -hmm. So the stylist had it set up. They're like, okay, this is what you're wearing to babes and ballers. You're wearing the white dress. But I freaking started my period on the plane. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm like, yeah, that's that's a no-go. It's a no-go. I'm like, maybe we'll try white for uh, Forbes, which um, we ended up doing. But that's why I brought the jacket because I'm like, fuck. I mean, any (laughs) any girl knows. Yeah, so we're walking in the party and I'm like... Hey, you, you, you got this right. And he's like, got what? And I'm like, I don't want to bleed on my dress. And he's like, (laughs) okay, weirdo. (laughs) So, um, I reach in my bag to get my phone. And of course I stab my freaking thumb with glass or something. Mm -hmm. And I start bleeding everywhere. And he's like, oh my God, you're bleeding. (laughs) And I'm like, help. And he's like, you're definitely going to get blood on your dress. (laughs) Right. And she was good. She, she survived it. You made it through. But um, I'm going to backtrack. So basically, guys, like having Jamie stay at my house, because I'm always staying with her when I come to Vegas, but staying at my house, we get along so well. You know, my girlfriend was like there, but not there. You <laughs> felt like you had your own space, right? I hope you yeah, felt comfortable. Yeah, for sure. Everything good? Yeah. And okay. I feel like 
you, yeah, I'm like, Chris, I need tampons. He's like, don't worry about it. I'll go get them. Yeah, I so he came on. back with yeah. like a big, <laughs> a big ass bucket. Buck. I mean, yeah, it was a bucket. Think of like Kentucky Fried Chicken guys. This is like the Kentucky Fried Chicken of tampons. It I'm was like, a huge bucket. where did you get these and why so many? And you're like, well, I didn't know. I got them at Target, okay? And I'm like, okay, okay, they're great. <laughs> Are you sure? Because I can get regular super size or what is it? Yeah, he goes, super? what size do I get you? I'm like, I don't know, a variety? <laughs> Right, <laughs> packs work. They always work. So well, I'm glad we covered that. All right. Yeah, you're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So why don't we get into this, guys? So once again, yeah. the, Jamie and I are going to just I'm cover. I'm getting hot in here. Let me, <laughs> let me just <laughs> take off my jacket. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> so we're going to really start getting into, let's, we're going to discuss Super Bowl weekend and going to events. And I personally, I know this is something that you do almost probably twice a month, three times a month where you're always at some event, walking the red carpet and things like that. Yeah, yeah. I haven't done something like this since my modeling years. And, and it's all changed now. You know, with social media, you can like tag all this right away and put it out there in the, into the ethos pretty quickly. Yeah. For me back in the day, you know, you walk the runway, you go scouring for those photographers who have your photos and hopefully get back a few if they don't print them out or something. But right. Now, go ahead. I mean, so we did, our first event was, um, so I flew in on Thursday mm -hmm. from like a 20 degree weather to freaking 90. Mm -hmm. So we hit the ground, went home, literally changed and went to our first party, which was Babes and Ballers. And I think Variety actually ranked it as one of the top parties That's right. of the Shout Super Bowl. Shout out to Babes and Ballers. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Mm -hmm. And your My PR guy, Josh, Josh Weissman. Yeah. Josh mm -hmm. totally took care of us because we were running a little late um, to that event. So we get out of the car and it was like paparazzi right um, away, right away autographs. Um, and then we're trying to like hustle and get to the carpet. So we got to the carpet. You have a photo right here too. I think this oh, is yeah. it. There oh yeah. Is, that's that's yeah. Car. Shout out to Slade was for taking care of like all of our transportation to our events. You guys are amazing. What's up Slade. Thank you for that. Um, those are the shoes you almost slipped in getting out of the, oh yeah. Out of the car. So I got out of the, <laughs> <laughs> when I got out of the vehicle, the concrete was like Just super slick. slick. Right. So I my foot was like chink and I was like, whoa. Yeah, Travis. And this, he this caught is, me. This is something you need to learn. If you ever help a girl out of the car, which you grab all guys hand. should help a girl out of the car, grab her a hand, hold your like forearm really, really stiff. For that reason, when she got out, she literally slipped and buckled in my arm oh and my, my arm held her up. Yeah. That's all guys should be able to do that. Take a note. Strong yeah. Yeah. And ladies, when you get out of the car, make sure you try and have your legs crossed because if there's photographers, they're definitely getting a panty shot. Oh my God. So yeah. I think we were safe. There were no <laughs> panty shots. Well, you came out of it like a charm. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So we got there and all of a sudden, like the, we probably got there maybe an hour or two after it started, I think. Yeah. And, we were um, running a little behind. Yeah. And the red carpet line was, it was, it was a zinger. I mean, it was long as shit. There I mean, were so many freaking girls. Mm -hmm. Um, and everyone looked so amazing. Beautiful. Like yeah. shout out to Caitlin. We saw her right. in line. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't saw a lot of people. You, yeah, yeah. Send you that photo. But, um, yeah, everyone was awesome. We might've skipped to that friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, and once again, thanks to our PR person, Josh. Thank yeah. you very much for that. We did get to like skip the whole line and jump to the front, which but. were only a few guys going through. So with that being said, Travis, so my previous story that I was getting at, it was my first time on a carpet in probably like 15 years or right. so. I've probably been on something small since then, but getting on there, Jamie's prepping me. Okay. You need to do this. You need to do this. You need to do this. And then she goes, just model hard motherfucker. Just do what you do. Best I'm like, get model out hard. there. Yeah. And you fucking crushed it. Even with like when, okay. So when the paparazzi are coming at you, like you did amazing. Thank I you. looked through like our, um, our press photos. Cause you never know what they're going to put out there. And every shot was like, I was like, damn, Chris, good job. See? Yeah, he was like on it. One of so, my friends would appreciate that. She And I always tell her, mm. it's not me who fucks the photos up. It's everyone else in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, and then Twist got some dope oh, shots Oh, shout out to us. Twist. Thank yes. you so much. That guy's amazing, by I know. The way. And I love that he like cleared everyone out of our way. Right. So it's always nice to work with like some of the same photographers that kind of know your personality and can get people out of yeah. our way so we can get to where we're going. And I hate saying no. Um, so, no, but he, it, he, sometimes people like have you sign, like, you know, they have like 20, 30 photos oh, you and you're that. like, like they already the have heck? them in hand before you yes, get there. Right. Yes. Yeah. So that's, it's always hard to say no, but you have like a few key 
people like in place that can kind of move you along and that's right. always nice yeah you were surrounded by i mean i didn't i figure it's it's weird on an event like that with any event i feel like there was groupies out there there's like these male groupies just surround <laughs> there were you know these guys just surround you right away and it was just like autographs 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 photos yeah. photos photos and you're you're very good at it i mean you just you. you stood there you did your thing and twist is in the back and all these other paparazzi people taking photos and stuff. It's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it was, it was fun. Um, it was, it was a good event. Yeah. So this was uh babes and ballers. Um, we made it through the carpet. We did. And, and yeah. Did went good. inside. And then, um, I think Michael Sartain was up there doing the hosting and, uh, interviews and things, which was great as well. Yeah. Um, it was little just, John. Yeah. Little performed. John performing. That was great. He was and, good. And I and also also a lot of the um, you know, the influencers who are there and, and um models of your stature, they they just whisk in and whisk out, don't they? They're only there for about twenty minutes at a time. I, I mean, feel like. yeah. So some people, you know, they come and do their press and then they dip out and then there's other people that stay and party hard. Yeah. But we had event after event after event. So some nights we were stacked with like three different events. That's right. Yeah. I was, um, you know, being at the first party, I was just one of those things where, because I can, I'll stay all night, you know, I'll have a good time yeah. and things like that. But then. And me, not so much. <laughs> I'm not going to But you lie. taught me something <laughs> as well that night. It was just, that, and it was, this is the first time I was just like, wow, I just really don't feel like staying that long anymore. I just kind of want to get in and get out like you did. And I think that's going to be a thing from now on with these events like this, just kind of get in and get out unless you know people there and you want to say yeah. hi to the friends you know and, and some of the acquaintances that you've met along the way. Um, but I'm going to have to toot something now. And I know oh, that we've shit. discussed this earlier. <laughs> so this is a pretty good one. So you've known me for a while and I'm, yes. and I'm, a, I'm a pretty suave guy when it comes to speaking with people. I, I can network, I can talk and I just, I'm, I'm a charmer. Let's just put it the way it is, right? I'm a good charmer, right? You are. <laughs> so, so on the way out, walking out, I've, you know, we're saying hi to people and things like that. And for some reason, I see this girl, these two girls actually. So I go yeah. up to them. And they're pretty well-known girls. Okay. Which at the time, obviously I didn't do my homework. I didn't know who they were. So <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you <know>? <laughs> Thanks, honey. So I go up to these two girls and I go, hi guys, excuse me. I'm, I'm Christopher Lewis. And I wanted to, you know, just talk to them about my podcast because they're yeah. for networking and things like well, that. Well, he said, I don't know who you are, but <laughs> <laughs> I did. So when I said that to her, after they were smiling and they were engaged until I yeah. looked and went, wait a minute, who are you again? And it came out completely wrong because I was so flustered in my mind because these girls are fucking hot and I was flustered. And she looks at me and she goes, what a fucking dick and turned around and walked off. Yeah. Like, you don't know who I am. I was so embarrassed and I was so like oh, shocked that I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not one of those guys who's hitting on you. I just wanted to talk to you about like my podcast and maybe see if you want to be a guest. Yeah. But at the same time, I didn't know who they were and I didn't want to offend them by just asking them something like that. And, you know, who one of the guests was, who was it? It you was, can, it, was it was Emily Sears and Lindsay. Lindsay yeah. Payless. And that's one of the yeah. people we've been trying to get on our show. And I, I highly apologize on our podcast today. I'm so sorry about that, <laughs> Lindsay, because that is not my personality. <laughs> Everyone who knows me knows that I'm not that kind of guy. Yeah. I just really was trying to just meet you guys and I got flustered. I put my foot in my mouth. Yeah. I mean, literally. it was in your defense, it was a really, really busy night for yeah. us. So there was a lot going on. And Right. But never want to come across as a douchebag guy. I don't though, think that you, you know? came across as a douche. I think maybe it was like late and just I put don't my know. foot in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it was a lesson learned. Yeah. Because the next night when we And went, not everyone's gonna freaking know who you are. That's so true. So it's too. okay. Yeah. So right. um like in your defense. Right. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, Lindsay Sorry. and Emily about <laughs> he that. He didn't know who yeah, you hopefully were. Hopefully we'll meet but... again one day and you'll, you'll meet me a different new person at that point. <laughs> <laughs> so so we left so. after that and we went home. We went home and got ready for the next day to do it all over yeah. again. Yeah. What And then what was the next day? I think we had, I had like a few lunch things. Yeah, you did. And, and I had tennis. And then my morning. time's off because I'm coming from the East Coast. So you had to get up at like 4. in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... Don't bother me. I'm going to try and sleep in. But since my time was off, I was still up by eight. And now today, I feel like it's finally catching yeah. up to me. I'm right. fucking tired. <laughs> but I'm doing great. I got my coffee. You do. You look gorgeous, yeah, honey. Thanks. You're doing fine. All right. So then the next day after okay. that, we actually ran around. We Jamie had a lunch. I had to do some work. And then basically, we got back together. We went downtown um, because I wanted to go to grab... Um, so what did I want to go? I wanted to go grab something anyway. You needed a phone case. Oh, that's right. A phone case. Got my new iPhone 13, by the way. So yeah. we got a new phone case, went around, came back home and started getting ready again. Yeah. And went to the Forbes And I party. haven't shopped forever. So mm -hmm. when you were like, let's go, usually like 
uh, you know, I have like things sent to me or so I don't ever really have a lot of free time to look around or shop or like try things on. So I was a little excited. I'm like, fuck yeah, let's, oh, I'm let's glad go. You're so excited. Okay. he gets like one phone case and I'm like, I fucking buy four. <laughs> and then I'm like, whoa, look at these shoes. So then I start trying shit on and I'm like, oh, I'm going to take those. So I actually like Good. got to shop a little Good. and that was cool. See, I'm glad and you're look, saying that. You look gorgeous. Look at those shoes, guys. I this is shoes these. from Santee mm-hmm. Alley. Whoop, whoop, so, LA. And hey. I'm glad you're saying that right now because because I was just hoping just to get you in and get you out because I was like, we have a busy night. I know you're tired and yeah. thank you for coming with me. But I was fun. just like, let me just get this fun. over with. And you were having a good time. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad we, we yeah. were able to go and just like decompress for a little bit. So then it was the, yeah, back to the house mm-hmm. and back Rest on the grind. Moment. Yeah. And guys, ready. anyone who dates this woman over here next to me, you got to know her times. Like, and just for me doing this podcast with her, <laughs> I know so much about her because I, even on the show, I learned so much more about you. But yeah her time of getting ready. What's the first thing I said to you? How much time do you need? And she goes, I need this much time plus five. Yes. And she sticks to it. Yeah, I'm hardly ever late. Mm-hmm. That's right. Um, so if you tell me like 7.30, don't come in there at 7.20 <laughs> and be like, hey, are you ready? No, you said fucking 7.30. Yeah. And I always need like a plus five. So just give me a little extra five minutes and usually 7.30, I'm ready to walk out the door. Right. Like, let's go. Yeah. Didn't bother her at all about that because I knew. I no, know. I, and you know, I was I was on time and I was ready. Never fuck with the girl's time, dude. I'm telling you, walk <laughs> in that room. That You know, actually walking into a room and them doing that adds another five minutes to you because now you're pissed off. You can say, now I'm going to do it just because. I've well, known someone to do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not like spiteful, but I like if you're, ha- I'm the type of person that if you're having a conversation mm-hmm. with me, then typically I'm not a big multi- multitasker. So I'm going to stop what I'm doing and pay attention to you and engage. Right. So it's going to put me behind a little. Okay. Well, but I'm very like regimen on my schedule yeah, and my time. And are. I have, um, you know, like I wake up, I need my hour, I journal. We were so. out. Yeah, God, you're you the left best me roommate. alone. You're the yeah. best roommate. I, I like tell it. Ya. Man, you, we just sit there. We just don't. We talk. We engage. We do our thing. We talk. We engage, yeah. We do our like thing. even when you come mm-hmm. here, it's like you, when we walk in the house. I'm like, all right, I'm going to take a bath. Like, do whatever you right. want. Like, yeah. I don't feel like I have to entertain no. you. And I was up two hours later doing work for today. It was yeah. great. I was just, and then your <laughs> my daughter <laughs> came in <laughs> with her boyfriend, which was really funny. She goes, "Hello," and I go, "Hey, what's it going?" Yeah. She's like, "Hey, Chris." I was like, yeah, "Everything's good." We talked for a minute and went back to work. That yeah, was she it. was like, "I came in all obnoxious and was like, hey." <laughs> so she's like, I'm, "We're going to get Valentine's treats. Do you want any dessert?" And I'm like, uh, "Yes, but." Please don't bring me back anything. Right. She's a cutie pie. I love her and her boyfriend. So. Just knowing them just a couple of times I've been here and everything yeah, as well. Yeah, they're adorable. All right, guys. So then after this, we go to okay. the Forbes party, which was a different, complete vibe. I mean, this one mm-hmm. is in Beverly Hills off of Rodeo Drive. I mean, just more. It's out of a um, someone's fine arts gallery, which the art was yeah. pretty amazing. And... Um, we just had a great time there. They had a step and repeat there as well. And we just kind of took it over. Oh, we, we did. Yeah. So when we hit the carpet, it was like, we fucking owned that we shit. Did. And everyone's like, everyone was a little hesitant. Remember trying to get up there and we just yeah, go, excuse like, me, excuse me. Yeah. I'm like, come on guys, like get on there. Let's get it done. Yeah. And then have a good time. Like I like to go in, do the carpet in my press and then I'm done with it. And then I can just like relax. Right. Take exactly. a look at this photo. Uh, oh, you look yeah. gorgeous there. Jamie's Aww, running around in this you. white dress, guys. It's, it's amazingly it's like beautiful. Like Jessica Rabbit, but in a white dress. Aw, yeah. thanks, Travis. Yeah, we have a knack for dressing the same all the time, which is kind of cool. Yeah, we always kind of match, but not on purpose. That's and correct. then uh, here's some Chris. Oh, look yes. at that sound behind mine. It's on the carpet, guys. I'm, by the way, I'm loving this carpet shit. I think I'm going to try to get on someone's carpet how natural every day of the week. Thanks, yeah, you did amazing. Yeah. And all the ladies were like all over him. Like they are taking pictures with their phone. Yeah, I'm like cool. out of my way. <laughs> like you're such a natural on the carpet. Look at that. These uh, are two different yeah. events. Thanks, Travis. I mean, it's like I said, it's just once once it's in you, it's, I guess. It's, but it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, you did awesome. I'm telling you, it was. I, I'm going to jump on someone's carpet now, and I'm probably getting kicked <laughs> off the carpets from now on the rest of my life. You say carpet, and my mind goes somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a relationship show. Honey. What was your tweet this morning, Travis? <laughs> oh, don't make me read it. Come on, you got to read it. It's like a little tongue twister. Okay, okay. It, so I made a tweet. It's 8 a.m. And the one response is, this is 8 o'clock in the morning. Why are you tweeting this? And I say, uh, it's weird how uh, an attractive face is the criteria by which we decide whether or not to lick the area of a person that the person pees from, you know? This is very yeah. true. So we can we can go off of this. We're Gross. gonna go off of this one, and we're gonna we're gonna add a little relationship stuff in this one now. Um, okay. And um, we had dis- had a discussion. I was gonna do a questionnaire like just off of our event weekend on just yes. and it just gave me a bunch of questions to ask on the fly to people for the future. Mm-hmm. And one of them was how 
guys look at girls. So when a guy sees a girl, what are you thinking? Are you thinking about having sex with them? Or are you thinking about just appreciating their beauty? And I feel like most guys have either, wow, they look at a girl and go, God, I want to fuck that girl. Or some guys, do you know what I mean? Yeah, wow, I would rather a guy amazing. look at me and be like, wow, she's beautiful. Right. So I'm, so that's a question that I would like to know. <laughs> you know. And if anyone wants to write in on that one, guys, if you want to write in on that, please let us know. Because Travis, what do you think? When you look at a girl, have you ever looked at a girl and go, God, I want to fuck that girl? Or is it... Or does it switch? Like, are you that animalistic? Depend, that word? Like, animalistic? Uh, like, it depends on like, how deprived I am in the moment okay. and what the context is. If I meet them in the middle of a work day, then I might just be like, oh, it's a beautiful woman. Right. I'm meeting them at night and then I'm, you know, you know, it's that time of night, you know, I might be like, you know, okay. animal instincts. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I, guess that's, I guess it's true. Right. It depends on the moment and the vibe. And I was thinking as we're out, you know, as you as we go out anyways, when you're out at night, it's if you met that same person that like I've met a few people there at some of the parties that when you're talk with them, you know, they're just looking you up and down and just ogling all mm. over you. Would that same person do that during the day? I feel like timing is everything, just yeah. like Travis said. Right, right. So it, it, it's a mindset too, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I will say I had to like 911 you at the <laughs> Forbes party because there is this guy and he would not leave me alone and he had no spatial awareness. Okay. So men, if you're having a conversation with a lady, I don't care if it's loud, do not get in her face and yell. And we don't want to see videos in your phone in a busy event. So right. he keeps trying to show me his baptism and I'm like, dude, it's really fucking cool that you got baptized, but I don't want to fucking watch Timing's your baptism wrong. Wrong timing. and you're spitting in my face. Yeah. You got to know your social cues guys like, when you're out. back the fuck up. Yeah. So I, I feel like that's anywhere. Like you said, I mean, when it, when it comes to something like that, yeah. when you're at an event, you want to just, you, obviously you want to meet and talk with people and network, right? but there's a limitations on how to do that. Like no one wants to hear fully about your work life or your kids or anything like that unless you're first of all you're asked um second of right. all keep it short keep it sweet and don't just keep engaging when you feel like okay you, it's just it's the, run its course right and it's not it's not appropriate to be sitting there and opening your phone and searching for videos and and i was i was trying to talk to someone else and he just kept inserting himself right and that's so the i was things, like yeah wow mm -hmm. okay it's it's time to go so right. i i sent Chris a 911. I'm like, Save I came me. running. I was, I waited, Travis, I waited in this long bathroom line. I was like, right, finally, like I have 10 people deep, right? And I finally got second in line, ready to go to this bathroom. And she ding, ding, ding. And then she goes, help now, 911. And I ran out and I, I'm high-fiving people as yeah. I'm leaving the line for the bathroom. So I've been <laughs> that, there that long talking to everyone. And I go, there, where are you going to go? Got to go save my co-host, man. Yeah, I got to go. I had it with yeah. him. Yeah. I was like, and then I feel like there was someone else too that was like inserting himself with right. like another girl. Like towards the end of the night, I feel like it got a little like rowdy. He had camera in her face and she's oh, like, yeah. stop. Yeah. She said, I said no before and no means no. And he no. kept fucking following her. Right. I mean, he he did like a drive by like um, flash of her right in her face. Yeah. With the, with his camera. Like men, if a woman says like no photos, no fucking photos. Yeah. Women, if a guy says that to you, you can do whatever you want, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> oh, my God. So uh, the Forbes event was definitely um, very classy, nice, yeah. different, good Different crowd. event, you know, because I feel like you can network at an event like that and talk just because the music's not blaring in your face. Right. It's not like a club atmosphere. Um, it's it's easier. It's an easier... It's a more relaxed vibe, I guess right. I would say. And then the they had really good food the drinks that's were true. nice yep they're walking around with food and things like that and the drinks very hard to get there though man those lines like that at those events they needed so another tight. bartender yeah someone may be walking around with something but i don't think a, a person could walk around with the space it was, was too tight. no it was way too crowded and that was like another thing when we arrived there i feel like they just jam-packed everyone in there at some point they have to cut it off right because it's uncomfortable right yeah yeah they do but you know they handled they managed well they managed yeah, well. It was I don't still know a great event. The capacity was, but they managed really well. All right, but we got to move on to this now because after all these events now, you know, Jamie and I, we kind of get a little hungry at the end of these things. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> you know, you got to look good in your outfit. You know, you got to fit in everything you're yeah. wearing. And quite frankly, it's late and you just want to eat something. So she had me slipping around. And, and by the way, slipping around to, if, if it's any other restaurant, any other fast food, any place in the entire world, which is easy to get through, her love in LA is in and out. It's, and as we all know, anyone from California or, God, frankly, from the world for that matter, knows that In-N-Out is 24-7 the busiest place 
to get something to eat at any time of day. Okay, well, it's not in Vegas. Okay, well, and then, I just wanted a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> so we drive. We so I we get in the car. We drive. Yeah. We did drive there. By and the way, and you were like, you've had enough today. You've been eating Twizzlers I and Baskin Robbins all day. I don't even. You're go not there. getting a cheeseburger, fat girl. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I did not say anything like that, guys. No, he actually. Yeah, he did. He drove me to the In and Out, and he goes. I said, where are we? Is this like a high school town? It was probably about what? Um, midnight, right? And yeah. there was people walking the street. Like, I mean, it was packed. packed. And she goes, she literally goes, um, I'm sorry, we is, is something from a high school getting out? And I go, honey, this is UCLA. <laughs> <These are all laughs> the kids, kids look out. so young. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> And the streets whoa. were just packed, which I kind of liked the fact that things are kind of getting a little yes. crazy and funny. Yeah, yeah. So they were super packed. Um, but she did not get her in and out. I didn't. The whole weekend you got no in and out. I didn't and because tried. the line was way too long and I just am not trying to sit in line for 30 minutes yeah. for a cheeseburger. It would have been Don't about you appreciate 45 that minutes. About me? Thank you so much. Yeah. I would have done it for you because I love you that so th- much. I think but. I went home and just raided the fridge. Yeah. And I think we uh, talked for a bit and then uh, my girlfriend came in and oh, spoke yeah. with us for a while. And yes. She's been amazing this whole weekend. I, I felt bad. I was like, honey, I'm so sorry. I wish that you could come to these events with us. She's like, no, I'm good. Does you know. she care? Does she want to come? Oh, I mean, she would be amazing at these events. Like, she's, yeah. she's like... She was so amazing at our event. Yeah, she. that's how she... We she should would be bring talking her. to everybody. I mean, she would be the one we'd have to be dragging out of the places to leave because she'd be talking to everyone. I feel like we need to bring her next time. We'll bring her next time. Yeah. Honey, you're coming. Yes, time. because she was... I remember when we did our pool event, she was so good with like... Yeah. Ev- like with us and like everyone. Oh yeah, and and she's hot. She's she'd bringing fit right me in. drinks. She's yeah, great. she'd fit right into the whole situation. So. so, all right. Well, we got sleep that night, and I think I got to sleep in. You got you slept in a little bit better. I slept um, in for Saturday morning, and then I had my work lunch. Yeah, I saw Mike. Okay. Um, Shabbat, which we'll have him on the show hopefully before he moves to Miami, and then we had to gear up for. Uh, Michelob Ultra, like That's the bowling right. event. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a good one. That was us. Uh, this bowling event, guys, had mm-hmm. Team Serena versus Team Paint Manning, and me being a tennis player and pro, it's one of those things where anything dealing with tennis and Serena, I'm in on that one. So yeah. I was like clamoring to get that one, which by the way, I had to sit in a fucking headshot, which I had to kind of dig deep <laughs> into my roll, my files of old shots yeah. and just to get in. But I'm glad I did. Yeah, it, it was fun. I said yeah. we're going to this event. Um, I have to show up for a few hours. They're asking for a headshot. And you're like, send them our podcast. And I'm yeah. like, I did, but you still need a headshot <laughs> to get into the event. Like, Don't they know what I look like? You're like, they do, but still. Yeah. So weird that right. LA still does that. Yeah. I'm like, it's, we're it's, not even actors. Like, what the fuck do I need a headshot for? Right. Well, I mean, but, the the celebrity types that were there is pretty crazy, though. So. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. There was so ludicrous was um, he was DJing. MC him. Yeah. And we had um, Shaquille O'Neal showed up. Shaq was there. Mm-hmm. I was like, get out of my way. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then um, Peyton Manning, I think we have a photo. Um, Freaking like a boss bowling with his beer. Oh, yeah. There he so is. So then. Well, I think you have him beat with this one, guys. Yeah. So then I'm like, fuck this guy. I'm going to bowl in my heels <laughs> with my bag. <laughs> So we're looking at a photo right now, a video of Jamie bowling with um with her purse in hand in high heels, looking hot and almost made a strike. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, that was a split. So then I was like, maybe I should do the splits next. But <laughs> but I didn't. I, I kept it classy. It but my fun. my uh my bowl right before that was a strike, but we I don't think we got it on camera. Well, we'll have to probably go through our <laughs> stuff. But thank Chelsea Don for that one for Yeah, thanks, Chelsea. You know, and then Michael was there as well, so that was fun. Um, who else did we see? Um, saw um, a few of the other, like uh, um, Mia, one of the playmates. Um, let's see, uh, a few of like there's a couple football stars there. Um, a few other, um, I think influencers, and but there's there's a lot of people there. Yeah, I think at one point you, <laughs> you just said, "How come we're not in the VIP area?" <laughs> oh yeah, we were. So we're walking out, and it was so freaking packed. And yeah. this is like I don't want people like touching me and rubbing up against mm-hmm. me. Like I get a little like uncomfortable. Like I need, um, space. Like, yeah, I do. Like I, I, I get anxiety. Um, so I'm like, we're either going to the VIP or we're leaving. Okay. And, um, I remember Chelsea was like, don't you have another event? I'm like, we do. And she's like, I think you guys are good. So I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you for And I, me I look there. at you and I said, are you ready? And you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I had reached my limit there. Um, I had It was great walking in, but you're right. That, those are one of those parties where 
probably 45 minutes tops at a party like that just because it's so crowded and just everyone's, I feel like it's in their clicks already and and, and you mm-hmm. cannot, once again, um, communicate and network in a situation mm-hmm. like that very much unless you're you now you're younger, you're with a group of friends. Like I always told, I told someone the other day, I think I said, look, if I had like a group of friends there, you know, and you and I were there with a couple of friends that we knew, like a lot of friends actually, and then we did our own thing, you kind of acclimate into getting into the um, scene a little bit easier right, right. because you're, you're working your way into it. So I would have probably had more fun doing that. I think a, a common misconception with these events are people see them like yeah. on social media and they think that we're like out there partying and we're not. This right. is the work for us. Like we literally show up to do a job and leave. We're not, not to say that the events aren't fun because yeah. yes, they are fun, but it's more like a job for us. Like Agreed. we show up, we do our thing and then we're out. We're going to in and out Yeah, or, met some, <laughs> met some great people. You know, we met some great people. We, yeah. you know, we did the carpet and then just basically just out. And I, and I'm a full believer of that now. Thanks to you. Yeah. So you've actually got me because of this weekend, you got me, um, tagged on a lot of stories this weekend by just ah, tagging on what I was wearing. So yeah. thank you giving keys and Ron Thompson for that. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Awesome. I love giving keys. I mm-hmm. was actually, I got my first giving key from Taylor, um, and then I've been obsessed with their brand ever Such since. Such a good business. I mean, they literally, I think she actually had um, was some of the swag for the Super Bowl when people were coming in. At, I don't know which part of it, but I think it was either one of the VIP areas. And I saw on her story that she literally was giving keys away at the um, Super Bowl, which who, is kind of great. Do you know who owns, owns I Giving don't, Key? I don't. I'm sorry about that. I need to figure that one out. So I'll, I'll make sure I get on that one. Yeah, let's find out. If you guys um, haven't heard of them, then... Definitely check them out. Tell us a little bit about the premise behind the giving right. key. So the giving keys is meant to be um, given to someone else. Like, let's say if I purchase a set of keys, I'm actually supposed to pay it forward to you yes. with these keys. And so I think of something that I, like keys have like love or belief or whatever it is on there that matches up to, I feel like who it belongs to, like if I think of you. So that's what it is. And I think it's such a great premise and they're all types of different keys. You know, it mm-hmm. can be a door key or old school key or yeah. I'm sure she's probably got tons of different keys now and i have a lion key you have a lion key yeah because it's um because i'm a leo okay so. Oh, and I my hair. I didn't know they usually, made that. That's pretty yeah, cool. So yeah. So it's like, uh, yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. Mine were given to me on just on one of those situations where I, when I first met um, Jamie, my girlfriend, where we were started dating. I came home in this like just really just funky mode and just depressive mode. And for some reason, and that was the day that she had had them and just gave them to me and it just brightened up my whole day. She goes, you know, Aww. I think this will like, make your day better. And she goes, I got yeah. these keys. And she literally stood there and told me why she thought of each key for me. Aww. And it was so hard. Like, so How many felt. keys did Three. she give you? Three keys. What? Yeah, it was so heartfelt. And I wear them almost every day. So I love them. Every time um, I'm out, I have them on. Were you, like, when you were in a funk, was it, like, a few days lasting? No, I mean, uh, it was just because of us, like, you know, whether there was a phone call, maybe something with my ex. I don't yeah. know, something that day that just put me in a mode that day. And I was just really sad and just kind of in a funky mode. And that, just for some reason, she had bought them that day. And it just perked me up and got me out of my funk pretty quickly. Because it was just so touching and heartfelt. Thanks, uh, honey. God, she's good. Yeah, I need to really do good. that. I need mm-hmm. to have, like, a little stash of gifts. So like yeah. if my guy's having a bad day or my kids, then I can just go in the closet and be like, hey. You can't give him a candle? Like, you know, from your no, gift that's, episode, always oh give my God. candles. <laughs> that, the candles are for Christmas. <laughs> a stash of candles. <laughs> Makes it, but, they smell good. You can give them to anybody at that point. Yeah. Yeah. So, so overall, mm-hmm. I say rate our weekend. One to 10. I honestly, I probably had... I'm going to go high on this one for me because the Super Bowl ended up being great. Being in Los Angeles, Super Bowl Mm -hmm. was fucking phenomenal. Um, I had even helped my sister help one of her pop star friends sell her her tickets for her that morning. So I was running and gunning all morning long. Plus, you know, getting you content and things like that. It was all about work for me this weekend with you while you're in town Mm -hmm. and just quite frankly, just happy to have you in town because I know it's rare to get you in like that. So thank you. But I had a great weekend. I'd probably say it was an eight overall. Okay. Yeah. I'm right there with you. I I'm wish saying, we, you know, we had a chance to go to a few more parties, as we know, but yeah. I think we had just burned ourselves out at that point because it's kind of, it's like it's a lot of running around. Right. We so. were supposed to do, um, I think one night they had us scheduled for three parties, mm-hmm. but we did not make all three and we were going to go to Justin Bieber's, mm-hmm. which we didn't make it. And I'm so glad we didn't because there ended up being. Yeah. A shooting there. Yeah. Right. So found out that the next morning, actually, which we, if we were there, what time would that, did that happen? Yeah. We, well, I, this is like where I say things always kind of work out the way that they're supposed to. So, um, I hope, um, everyone's okay. Right. So how did you end your time? Because I know you left Sunday morning then before the game. So, so before I went to bed, I was extremely exhausted. Mm -hmm. So I told you the wrong time. So I'm like, Hey, I'll be ready to go by 
eight. Well, I was supposed to be at the airport at eight. So I right. woke up a little early <laughs> and he's like, where are you? I'm like, oh, I just took an Uber. I know. And I think you had just left when you yeah. and I walked out there. Yeah. So I had rushed, got to the airport. My Uber was a complete psychopath. Um, so I, I remember texting Joe like, Hey, call me help, help. Okay. Cause he wouldn't stop talking about Lucifer and uh, <laughs> oh no, are you kidding so me? Driver? Like, yes. <laughs> Fucking eight in the morning. Yes. And wow. so I was like, so I hopped on the phone and, you know, got out of that, that whole deal hopped on my flight, crashed out on the, on the plane. Okay. I was so tired on my hour flight get to Vegas and went straight to the MGM for Super Bowl because I was hosting. Oh, you had another event. That's yes, right. I How was did that go, by the way? that event. Um, it went great. Was it packed? It was It was so freaking mm -hmm. packed, but the crowd was good. MGM's really, really good. They take really good care of um, of their customers. So it was it was a private event. Good. Um, easy. Okay. Yeah, so the way I look at it is I'm like, oh, I'm getting paid to watch the... the, the watch Super the Bowl. Game. Yeah. It's great. Um, the halftime show was awesome. Amazing I halftime loved it. show. Yeah. And then Amazing. I couldn't wait. I was like out of there, I think by seven, seven thirty. Okay. And, and then I picked you up the next day. That's right. I came in so. yesterday. Man, yes. we're just doing it all over again, guys. <laughs> so I think we've been together since God, it'll be by the time I leave, it's almost gonna be a full week. Week, yeah. Actually. Um, yeah, I phew, got the airport. <laughs> That's a crazy story. Oh my goodness. Guys, the airport in the after any event is just it's just bustling and bustling with just so many people and like and what gets me is when the day after People still wear their paraphernalia, like, you know, the Rams shirts or even the Cincinnati Bengals. They represent their, you know, their teams to yeah. the hilt. But do you, was there a lot of like looting after the win, like after LA won? That's a very good question. I was, I haven't heard anything. Oh, okay. Um, I saw a few, um, my friend Byron put up like a few like looting videos, okay. but I didn't know like how bad I hope it, was. it was. small. And I feel like you can never really trust the media. Yeah. Right. I, I'm hoping that it was small because I, it's people just get out of control. When yeah. stuff. I, I heard fireworks everywhere, though, especially in our neighborhood. There's always fireworks going off on those special occasions like that. And um, you hear whooping it up and things like that. So, <laughs> but I had I had a pretty low key one after the after the hustle and bustle stuff you left. I had um, just spent time with my family and we just kind of watched all together and had my kids kind of run around dancing to all the hip hop playing at halftime, which was amazing. Aww, and once again, yeah. um, I think we made burgers and that was it. I think I was in bed by nine o'clock, out like nice. a light. Do it all over again on Monday. Did again. you work Monday morning? I did. Started okay. at five thirty a.m. Yeah, and then came straight to here to Vegas. God, okay. so nonstop for us. Um, all right. But other than that, great times. Yeah, solid yeah. weekend. So what are we doing next? What's okay. our next event? Um, so yeah, we're still gearing up for the Bahamas. Okay. I'm thinking that's going to happen for us. Um, hopefully we can. Travis, you need to get your passport. Yeah, we got to get have you, you on. Have you worked on that yet? Nope, not even. You're anymore. coming to the Bahamas with us. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, and we might, so, we might obviously, we're going to probably need you in Los Angeles, too, because I feel like there's a few things we probably have to do in Los Angeles to yeah, get some of our so guests. Yeah, so we're collaborating in. a little mm -hmm. bit with um, the Wish House. Yeah. And then, yeah, we're doing Grand Isles yeah, in the Bahamas. We have, we have a lot to look forward to. I think we should shoot an episode in an airport. In the airport? I think that'd be great. What do you think? No way. Like sitting in like, just doing like a, like that'd be so much fun. Like, I don't know. The we'll have to we talk go. about that All off right. air. <laughs> All right, okay. Maybe shoot so. one on the plane. <clears throat> no. I'm sure everyone around would be like, shut up, shut well, up. Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay, hook up the private. Let's do it from the cockpit. Oh, yeah, we could definitely, yeah. we could do, yeah, we'll get a hold of, of Charlie. Okay. He has all the, the contacts for the Figure it out. See, we, we're, trying to, we had to think, we we're trying to think outside the box. As many as can outside the box. Can you imagine doing like do. a podcast on how in much, flight? How much fun would that be? Though? It would actually be really noisy. Well, you don't realize how loud tra it is. Yeah, yeah, Travis our, is like, bad idea, Chris. Yeah, no. but do you think it would be I as loud as idea. our event, though? Like our event at the um, pool party, that, that's probably as loud as it's going to get. I don't think a plane's going to be that loud. No, it's it's extremely okay. loud. Okay, all right. Have you ever put a noise-canceling headphones on an airplane? Yeah, but I still feel like I'm pretty good when, when it's loud in my ears and I'm listening to a show or something. That's why we all watch movies. That's Even the people have the <laughs> shitty, like, you know, people still have those little <laughs> shitty headphones that they that they give, that the attendants give them. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. So... Yeah, I feel like it can be doable. Let's do a test and you'll okay. see. Okay, Travis, you can handle it. We trust okay. you. <laughs> but you. You're really good at what you do. I mean, you you amazed me when we did it at the pool party event. I mean, how I appreciate that. loud that was there and this and the quality, the sound quality, it, it held up. Thank you. So, yeah. mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's get out of here. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go well, get some food. In and out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is our, we're just going to call this our Super Bowl edition. And if, if we left out anyone, shout out to you guys. And thank you so much for all the events um, like Forbes, uh, Babes and Ballers and the um, Ultra, you know, 
bowling party. They were all amazing. Yeah, Chelsea, thank you for taking care of us. Yeah, thank so. you so much. It was great meeting a lot of you guys. And Josh, uh, I want to thank my friend Greg Milkars, the other PR guy that helped us out to a lot of parties. Mm -hmm. And I know you have a lot of people in there. So yeah, we didn't even I didn't even see Greg. Greg, you know, he was in and out. He, okay. he does that. He gets in and out. So I think he ended up going to a party, <laughs> which I'm glad we did not go to. Oh, there was only Palm like three okay. people there. Three. Oh, that was wow. it. So, all right, you want to do a question of the day? Yeah, Before let's do our question right. day. So we do a question of the day. Okay. And we got to start this up again. All right, so here's our question of the day, and I found this pretty quickly. I'm getting questions, and I'm like, don't send them to me. Send them to... <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is a pretty basic one for the day. Uh, all right, hey, guys, love the show and love you. Question, single and dating, but looking for love and want to be married. I'm cute and feel like I have a lot to offer, but my dates always seem to fizzle out after the third date. I seem to get caught up more in the fantasy of it all but think i should probably relax and know in time it will happen any thoughts yes um i so my advice to any and everyone is when you put expectations on something we have a tendency to kill it yeah so i feel like more people need to be better at being present and in the moment agreed so and go with the fucking flow yeah and especially it sounds like if you're i don't know how much you're dating but if you are dating at least once every like what what's an average maybe three times a month should be a pretty sounds like a pretty good average yeah depending on the I person think so. if you're doing that and i'm going on the lower end of this right there just just be i mean don't rush it i mean because the guy can probably feel your anxiety first of all and you're and if he, if you're only lasting three dates there's something going on in you on why they're not continuously pursuing you. Right. Um, I don't know what your feelings are towards them, if it's something that you're killing or if they're killing it. But regardless, though, like Jamie said, just be in the moment. Don't mm -hmm. stress out. Just, you know, I know that you're probably looking forward way too far ahead, but just be in the moment and just have fun. Yeah. And don't chase like you. You don't want to be into someone that's not into you anyway. Right. So, so right. that's OK. Yeah. Just, no stalking. Just keep either. moving. Keep yeah. moving. <laughs> All right, so. guys, that's our an episode for today. And Jamie, always, this is our, I love doing private ones with you. This is fun. Yeah. Got to do more of these. Deal. All right, guys. You're high awesome. Five. All right, guys, thanks for listening to another episode, and we'll see you guys soon. Yeah.